What's up, Bucket Hat Crew? My name's JMT, and welcome back to The Crooked Man. Look at the man's neck. Yikes. Let's hop right into it. Last time we left off, at, I don't even know where we were. Is it like a church or I think it's a school of some sort. I don't know. This thing. It looks like a church. This is where we left off. Jeez, it's gotten dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Oh, so it's a hotel. Guess I'll just have to check. Let me move the- let me move you guys. I had to move the webcam, it should be good now. Okay. Hotel R Runenheim, giving you a serene stay. So this is a hotel. Let's hop right in, I say. A hotel register. It's kind of spooky in here, I won't lie. The clock has stopped. A landscape painting. Staff room. Boy, that's locked. Staff only, there's wire around the doorknob. All right. Everything's painted over. Oh, there we go. We entered this room. Then shiny here. There's something on a shelf. Treasure hunt. Dear mom, dad, me. What am I looking at here? I see a crown on like ice cubes or something. I don't know. Treasure hunt. I guess some kids staying here drew this. Sure, I'll look for your treasure. All right. Dude, this hotel is creepy McGeepy. Looks like the bathroom. Don't wanna go in. Heels painted over. It's locked and staff only with a passcode. Okay, so what was this room? We can go on 105, but the other ones, the keyholes are painted over or something. Interesting enough. What is this? 107 to 114. Okay, so 112 it is locked, but the other ones are like painted over. Oh my gosh, is that a moose? I'm on a deer. Oh, a deer. It kind of looks like a seal, I won't lie. The rec room. Oh boy. Today's program. Schweinberg. Three piano pieces. Is that German? A fireplace. Landscape painting. So, we're looking for the guy who used to stay in my hotel room. Or, uh, apartment. The door is locked. There's a notice on the door. Due to employee incom incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Gosh dang it, employees. Now nah, guys can't go in the library and read. Because who would want to do that? 201. Keyhole painted over. Keyhole painted over. Oh, we can go in here. This is a oddly large room. There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. All right. It was our special place. Oh, so this, this is literally where the guy went to. This is like a whole treasure hunt. <laughs> it was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner, but now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. And our special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? Found a scrap from a notebook. That is a good question, David. Oh, the mirror cracked. Well, what the heck? That, that's all you got to say, David? Nothing else. Alright, buddy. I think these other doors are locked, right? I'm assuming so. That they are. Oh, we already went in there. Hello, dear. Got a whole ballroom here. Nice. Alright. That's a ballroom, right? Cafeteria. Oh, same thing. Keyhole is painted over. Keyhole is painted over. It's locked. What is that? The bar. Okay. 
The hole is painted over, and that is also locked, and that is 209. So we have three doors locked so far, and then, like, the other big doors are also locked, but I'm guessing we'll enter them later. I wonder if we have to, like, actually do that treasure hunt thing. So where do we find that piece of paper? What room was that in? It was the fourth one, right? Yeah. All right. Treasure hunt. These look awfully familiar. Bro, are the is this the cafeteria? I bet that these, like, I called them ice cubes before. I bet it's the rooms in the cafeteria. And there's a crown on the top right one. I'm going to go to the cafeteria. I don't want to enter that again. Game. Let's go to the cafeteria and check on that table on the far right. Or the top right. That looked awfully familiar. This, this has got to be it, right? Oh, let's go. My brain power today is at a, it's at a top-notch level, okay? Normally, we're right here, or maybe even lower. You guys can't actually see it, but it's it's on the ground. Today, we're up here. Something under the table. Found a gold key. There's a paper, or there's a piece of paper beside it. You found the treasure. Congrats. I'm, I'm just too good with it. Do I have an inventory button? Oh, here we go. If I hit escape, item. Look at that. Notebook scrap, paper scrap, paper with that dress. I got a gold key, which is, it just says a shiny key. All right. We have a health bar? You're joking me. We have a health bar. We can also save it. We can save the game right now. Let's do that. Just in case. I didn't know we had a health bar. Now that I know we have a health bar, that's not good. So what could this gold key be for? Let's just go ahead and try to unlock all these doors. Do I have to actually go to the item and... I hope not. Wire around the doorknob. Yeah, this door was unlocked. What door was locked that we could go try? The library? Hey, use gold key, let's go. All right, now we're in the library. Oh, we get another shiny thing over here. Another key. Got the key to 108. Hey, this one actually has a title on it. Does it say it in there? Because I will forget. Yep, it does. All right. 108 key. Got a big book. Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your unconscious kindness, and they will drag you away. Some kind of occult book? Oh my gosh. I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. Screams of the Sightless. We, just got, we got an award. Oh my gosh, what was that? What the? That sound. Someone's definitely in the hotel. Alright, we are not alone. I just heard some running. Let's go check it out. Because why not? Oh my god. I still hear it. Is someone there? I have a gun. I actually don't, but hypothetically speaking, I, I would I would blast you. Oh, dude, I'm spooked. It's a 2D game and I'm spooked. Where's 108 at? I'll just go unlock 108. Maybe they're in there somehow. I don't know how they would be because the door's locked, but you never know. Unlock the door. Ooh, we got something on top of the dresser up there. The shelves are empty. This looks like the bathroom. Alright. So how do I get up there? Can I move the bed? Move the bed, David. Could probably move a chair. Oh, let's go. Alright, bet. Now we should be able to... Now I can get what's on the dresser. It's just common sense. I mean, honestly, it's, it's literally just common sense. Oh, got the wire cutters. We can use this for the... The door that had the wire. I hear a piano. All right, where was that piano at again? Bro, someone's playing the piano right now. I got I got the shivers. You guys got the shivers? I got the shivers for some reason. I'm putting my sleeves up. Where was that piano at? Was it in here? Oh my God, dude. Why is David running like that? Uh, I'm sorry. I just came in and the piano looked nice, so I, um, 
Sorry I yelled at you. I'm not on staff for the hotel or anything. It's kind of closed down, David. There's no staff here. Who are you, then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh, Sissy, then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here for a while longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Alrighty. I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Bye. Man, what am I doing? Shouting at girls. I feel like the shady one here. It's because you are, David. We're in an abandoned hotel looking for a dude. Who has nothing to do with me, really. Well, I mean, he did kind of trash my hotel a little bit, so... We got the wire cutters, though. So that should open this door over here. This had wire on it. There we go. Snippity snip. Let's go. Cut the wire with the wire cutters. Now we can go in. Alrighty. What is this place? Got a little notebook here. 10-8. Door in room 106. Bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Got the key to 106, baby. Let's just check everything to make sure. Full of miscellaneous goods. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. Lined with journals and account books. Owner's room. There's no doorknob. I hear something. I hear something too, David. Ew. It sounds like reverbed. Like it's playing backwards. Ew. Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. Can we just leave them in there? There's no doorknob on the door. Who knows how long they've been in there. It's probably some type of serial killer. Just leave them in there, David. I wonder if it's the crooked man. Ooh. Kind of sounds like the boogeyman. All right, here's 106. Let's hop right in. We got anything in here? I think the we can go in the bathroom, right? Yeah, I was gonna say the uh, door. Or I was talking about the bathroom in the page. We got a doorknob. Let's go. Would this work on the door without a knob? It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Now we have a doorknob. So. Let's go open that door. I don't know why we're doing this, okay? I really don't know why we're doing this, but let's try it. Attach the doorknob. Oh boy. This does not look good. Lined with novels. Worse info and maps. Book of the month, the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. There's a book of the month in the hotel. This looks... This looks like it's, uh... Yeah, this tile seems a little loose. Stomp on it, or do... Let's just do nothing for now. I don't want to die yet. You know what? Now that I said that, let's save the game right here. <laughs> just in case. A phone. A small door which won't open. It doesn't seem to have a lock. Alright. Let's stop on it. I heard a lock sound. Oh, it was like a pressure plate. What is this hotel hiding? It opened. Was there a mechanism on the floor or in the floor? There's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Oh my gosh. Can't see a thing. I need a light. Do we have a lighter? We do. Let's use the lighter. Oh my gosh, boys. A drum smells like gasoline. Dude, what type of Scooby-Doo mystery is this? Lamp oil. Full of unused equipment. Bruh. Oh. It's like a hole in the floor there. Oh. Oh, it's a guy, not a hole in the floor. <laughs> Are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? 
Oh my gosh. What? Are you okay? Whoa. What's down here, bro? Ew. Act. Ew, dude. What? Stop with the noises. What? <laughs> it's the crooked man. <laughs> Stay back. Don't come near me. Oh, yeah, no, I'm out of here. Crap. Let go. Let go. Z to shake it off. Shake it off, bro. <laughs> Ew. The crooked man is down here. Let's just keep that trap door closed. What was that? Its neck was all crooked. Couldn't have been human. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it could have been real. Or it couldn't have been real. Dude, if it grabbed my leg, it's real. I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. Uh, I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? Survivor. So, we saw the crooked man. Pretty crooked, alright. That was nasty. The sound effects are so nasty. <laughs> so, um, now where are we at? What items do we have? I think we used everything, right? Yeah, so now we're back to square one. I think we gotta go find Sissy. You back in here? I'm out. Look, I'm sorry, right? But, um, I just met Sissy. Okay, that's it. Like, <laughs> I don't know anything else about you. All right, if I saw a monster here, I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay here. Bar, it's locked. Everything's locked. I don't know where to go. Oh my God, dude. That got me. <laughs> Was that sissy? That was so loud, dude. Holy lord. Oh, we're sprinting now. The keyhole's painted over. Okay. Sissy is... There she is. Sissy, what happened? I went to the window and the floor gave away. What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. Hop right on over, sissy. Just make the leap of faith. No, no, I can't. I'm slipping. And I possibly can't jump that far. A gap this big? It's not even that big. This is no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Hop right over, sissy. Oh, boy. Did she fall? I think she fell. Oh, I think we grabbed her. Okay. <laughs> I thought she fell. That was too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh, she's crying. Orange juice. Yeah, we're going healthy today. It's 6 in the morning, and I'm drinking orange juice. I'm built different. Normally, it'd be a Red Bull, but we're going healthy. So scared. I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. Why? Why do I? Look at Sissy crying on her shoulder. Dude, David's going to catch feelings. I'm, I'm predicting it. It's okay, Sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine for now. Don't cry. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. And we stayed in? Must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present, or...? It's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me, after my own life. Ah, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it, too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but... Can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know my... I don't know that much, either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about that person you're looking for? You're a strange guy, David. <laughs> I am not. There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know how he looks because, um... Uh, strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful for you saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see ya. 
Oh yeah, David caught feelings. David caught feelings. Okay, so I don't know why, but right now my prediction is that Sissy is dating the guy that we're looking for. Or their exes now, I don't know. I think she said he was her boyfriend, so not anymore. But I have a feeling that Sissy dated the, our guy for some reason. Like, why else would there be a girl here? Okay. Now we're back to square one again. What predictions do you guys have? Let me know. I don't want to go back in here. Are you kidding me? It's opened. The basement door is open. Oh, don't tell me. Sissy's down there. Either Sissy's down there or Crooked Man came out. Let's find out. Of course. Of course, David. We're just going to go right back down. Why not? Let's use the lighter again. Dude, if I see him down there... Okay, he's not down there. I did see something glowing over here. I just, wanted, I just wanted to check the room to make sure that there's nothing down there. There's something here. Got a bronze key. Alright. Is there anything else down here? I don't think so. Miscellaneous goods and whatnot. Alright. Well, we got a brass key. So, no one's down there, which means the crooked man is just out... He's now in the hotel. Be afraid, David. Not that you already weren't afraid, but be more afraid now. So we got a brass key. Let's try this door. No, I didn't open it. What would the brass key be for, you think? Okay, we're already in here. Let's go try the bar. Bar's over here. Use the bronze key. Wow, first try for everything today. This is amazing. Got a bunch of bottles. Another book. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. A toast to our owner, who left his employees and fled the night, fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage, and his silly... Crap made this place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was this thing with the book which had... Wait. Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not for us. The passcode was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. Ah, uh, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? A passcode on food is pretty absurd. It sure is. Yeah. Do you know why there's a passcode in there? Because something else is in there, I bet. Okay, I think we read somewhere that there was like a book of the month, right? So the passcode's probably on that. That was in the room with the wire cutters, I think. Or the room with the wire on the doorknob, which is this room right here. Where we found Crooked Man. Man. <laughs> this is it, right? What? Oh, it's over here. Here we go. Alright, book of the month. Here we go. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That did not help me. Oh, wait. Do we have to go to the library now? The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I bet we gotta go to the library and find that book and it might have a passcode on it or something i don't know look when you're playing a horror game and you find any clues guys a good hint for you like a good tip if you have a lead just go along with it all right try everything in a horror game it doesn't matter if it's wrong or not at least you tried and then you won't have to worry about it ever again okay so we are looking for dr jekyll eat all right where's dr jekyll and right. i'm just trying to think i know it's like sort here but the, the D didn't work. I wasn't that one. I'm just gonna speak on this. Oh, here we go. Oh, it, oh, the book was called The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll. I tried doing, like, Doctor, and I thought it was in the D section, but nope. It'd be on this shelf, right? Ah, here we go. Oh my gosh. Chapter 1, Story of the Door. Mr. Utterson, the lawyer, was a man of a rug countenance. Uh, that was never lighted by a smile, cold, scanty, and embarrassed in discourse. 
backward and sentiment long. Okay, is there actually a code in here? Oh my gosh, I think there is. Henry Jekyll's full statement of the case. What the heck was all that for, dude? Oh my gosh, there's actually a code in here? Are you kidding me? All right, let me just read everything. Okay, I literally didn't, I, I almost read every single like word in all those pages, but I was kind of just, I started skimming it at the end. It said, oh my God, dude, Jesus. Oh my gosh, is that the crooked man? Yuck. Yuck. Imagine seeing this on the sidewalk at night. Hell no. No way, that monster, did it really get out? We were just down there, David. If we didn't see him down there, then yeah, he got out. It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Oh my god, oh my god, you're kidding me. Wait, I didn't save the game. I can't save the game. Monster, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, come this way, come this way. Yeah, that's right, baby boy. I'm out of here. <laughs> Crooked man, dude, just snapped my neck bone. And I will catch you guys up where we just left off. The power of editing, it's great, isn't it? So nasty. Kind of looks like Jeff the Killer, doesn't it? Do you hear him laugh? Ew. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Oh, what did I just do? I just kicked him down there, dude. Dude, David is a badass. What is that? My <laughs> I was just clicking there because I thought we could jump down. Literally. I'm just thinking right now out of like pure common sense. Literally. I'm just, I'm literally just thinking out of pure common sense right now. Like, if there's a hole in the floor <laughs> and I already tried leaving the door and he caught up to me, dude, the only thing else I could do is jump down the hole. And I just like drop kick the monster down the hole. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was... To think that thing exists? Yeah, man. Dude, I wouldn't be afraid anymore if I just drop kick the monster down a hole. We should be fine. But still, there's no way it's coming back from that fall, and the room under here's locked tight. Alright, bet. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it'd be too dangerous for her. Let's go warn Sissy. In the next episode, guys. We're gonna leave it off here, guys. We just pushed the crooked man down a hole. And now the next thing to do is to go warn Sissy. Let's save the game. Without further ado, guys, my name's JMT, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.